Oh, welcome back, everyone. Did you know that children 13 years old and younger are actually dying of fentanyl poisoning at a rate faster than other age groups? That's according to the CDC and by a group called Families Against Fentanyl, a nonprofit group. And is why there is a push to get a drug into schools that can help restore breathing after an overdose. It is called naloxone and it works. Lisa Balick looking into a bill before Oregon lawmakers that could help protect school staff who jump in to help. The flood of fentanyl pills, a deluge. Several teen deaths in the metro area in the past year. Teens buying from dealers what they think are Oxycontin or other pain pills. Instead, it's a fake pill with fentanyl, 50 times stronger than heroin. One pill can kill in just minutes. It's been two and a half years and it's just as raw as that day I found him. But I'm trying to educate our state, our nation to look, you know, this is very real. These are just kids. Michelle Stroh lost her son to an accidental overdose on fentanyl. She's on the Oregon City School Board and led a vote to get naloxone, the brand name is Narcan, stocked in all their schools. It's a drug that reverses an opioid overdose, a simple nasal spray that can help someone start breathing again. Portland, Beaverton, Westland, Wilsonville, Hillsboro, all among school districts that have approved a supply. Now. Oregon lawmakers are working to increase the chances that drug is used in an emergency at school. Schools usually need parents' permission to give a student medication, but the bill introduced would allow school employees to give a student naloxone without parent permission if a student overdoses. The measure also would protect them from civil and criminal liability. It's no different than having the AED machines on for potential heart attacks. The great thing about administering the Narcan is you can't hurt them if it wasn't necessary. And so I'd rather look at a parent saying we did all we could do in an effort to, to stop whatever was potentially happening than to say I wish we would have had the opportunity to do this. Her hope is that if this becomes law, more districts will agree to carry the medication in all school buildings, not just the high schools. Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News.